For this video, I left downtown Tallahassee and went south into what many call the worst part of town. The goal was to drive around the poorest and most dangerous neighborhood in the capital of Florida. It was winter time, but it was still a clear and warm day. That's expected since this is Florida and all. It was Wednesday, January 6th, 2021 at about 1 p.m. And I may or may not have heard gunshots at some point. I'll let you guys decide. Now, according to crime numbers, this part of Tallahassee here near Florida A&M University is the worst part of this city of 200,000 people. So that's where I would head. The neighborhood that's notorious for being run down and where it just plain isn't safe. Besides the crime that happens here, the students complain about the overall blight of the community, which is right next door to their campus. They were right. This certainly isn't anywhere I'd want to be. As a whole, Tallahassee isn't bad nationwide, but it's not good either. It ranks second worst of Florida's largest cities for crime. Only Orlando has a higher crime rate. Jacksonville is also pretty dangerous, as are many parts of Miami. That said, this is the worst neighborhood in Tallahassee, the capital of the state of Florida, everyone.
So right about here is where I was driving and you guys be the judge. Are these gunshots or fireworks? It happens twice.
As we leave this Tallahassee neighborhood, we come out right alongside campus. You can see just how closely these students live to a really bad place. Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great! You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more. You can also now buy my songs on iTunes and other formats. Click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. And remember, while we all might have different views, we should all be nice to each other and try to make the U.S. a better place in a positive way. This is Sage Nick's manager. This has been a Corner House Entertainment production.